Curlew need larger areas of connected habitat. Curlew breed in open, short vegetation. In the uplands, this is moorland and shallow bog, and in lowland landscapes, they choose farmed grasslands. Curlews need wet features too. Peaty soils, open boggy areas are really important for successful breeding because they're rich in invertebrate food for chicks and adults. Satellite tracking by the British Trust for Ornithology shows that curlews are using surprisingly large areas in today's complex landscapes. Birds can use anything from 40 to 1,000 hectares, more than a single Welsh farm during a single breeding attempt. Multiple pairs of curlew will share the same farmed landscape, but neighbouring farms need to work together to provide good breeding habitats at the right scales. Landscape scale planning is vital. Care in siting new woodlands is important to ensure it doesn't replace good curlew habitat or increase their vulnerability to generalist predators. Well, they, they, they come in the spring, they feed, well, quite a few curlew passing through seem to stop and feed on the field that we're standing on because it's damp and we chose to keep it damp instead of draining it for the curlew. Well, we roll, obviously, in the spring. We make sure that's all completed well before they nest. And when they do nest, if we can identify where they are, we don't, we hold off from mowing until they fledge. Uh, we've got a few fields that are supposed to be early silage fields and, you know, if you've got the curlew using them, then we're quite lucky we're able to use those for grazing and move on to other fields and close those off earlier instead. So just little things, you know, not putting pressure to have to have your crop of silage off that field, being able to adjust as we're going forward, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to go to Bogland, I'm going to go to Darnasli got to well the Bob Darnal Mesha Guanol Echter the one Barrow Datsir Guanwin Slide. When on head van he would do me on Artal Mosley Ag Darna Guer the Chat. Boys he got mad to it and he got all tired and all that kind of things. Ah, my own lad, ah, he couldn't get back up it. My son from Vetsa, ah, Glibani has been ushered in this. Mae'r ddau mynd yn fwy gilydd efo fi'n ffarmio yma yma. Mae golwinir yn trio byw yma yma a dwi'n trio byw yma yma. Losses of eggs and chicks to predation is a key reason why curlews are in decline and we need to find solutions to see them recover. Excluding ground predators from breeding sites for example, putting up temporary electric fencing can help reduce the losses from species like badger and fox for the four weeks it takes for eggs to hatch. Targeted, humane, lethal control for species like fox and carrion crow is still essential not only to protect the nest stage, but the five weeks it takes for hatchlings to fledge and be able to fly away from predators. O wy bod lle maen nhw'n trion, ma thi, ac wy bod os ydyn nhw wedi bod nhw i ddiannus. Dyna ni wedi nymed i penderfynu os oes angen addasu'r dill o rheoli tîr a rheoli ysglyfeithwyr. Os ydyn ni'n rhannu o'r wybodaeth, dyna ni hefyd yn cael gwybod os ydy'r boblogaeth o olgylfinu'r yn llwyddo a sut maen nhw'n gwneud. Mae monitro gylfinu'r yn waith heriol, ond mae'n dod â fleser hefyd. Mae angen pobl arnom i wneud hyn. A GWCT report highlights a vast array of societal, nature-based and economic benefits associated with curly recovery. In a survey, over 95% of respondents agreed that curly are a key part of our culture and our heritage and hold an important place in hearts and minds. Those same people felt that it would be right for Welsh Government to make conservation funds for curly recovery one of its priorities, given the forecast extinction as a breeding bird in Wales by 2033. Sustainable management of our natural resources is a key component of environmental legislation, and importantly, curlew 
can deliver so many ecosystem services in a win-win situation. For example, improving soil structure benefits foraging curlew, but also improves soil health, increases carbon capture and water storage. The report found that in total an additional 87 species benefited from work targeted at curly recovery and of those 16 of those species were red and amber listed bird species. Curly is a red list species and of principal importance as it's included in the section 7 list of Environmental Wales Act. Ministers are required to take all reasonable steps to maintain and enhance populations of all section 7 species. The report found that action for curly benefits an additional 18 Section 7 species, from lapwing to kestrel to hedgehog and brown banded carder bees. Curly recovery gives us multiple benefits, including biodiversity, improved soil and health quality, carbon capture, and public well being.